Good afternoon everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video I will be showing you a hands-on lab that you can do on how you can query your Kafka topics real time with Trino. So without wasting any further time let's get started straight into the lab section. All right so first of all you have to clone the github repository. Uh, I'm assuming you have cloned the github repository. In this particular github repository there will be a docker compost.yml file as you can see. Uh, this docker compost will sp uh, spin up Kafka, Zookeeper, Trino and Red Panda console. Okay. So now the first step that you want to do to learn is basically come here and say docker compose up hyphen hyphen build minus t. This will start all the containers running in the background locally. Uh, now let's review the settings that you need to do in order uh, to query your Kafka topics via Trino. So let's take a look at that. So uh, you will see a folder called Trino and inside there you will see a folder called catalog and then you need to create this particular file which is called kafka.properties and in this uh, kafka.properties three things are important the connector name the connector name that we will be using is Kafka will provide the Kafka nodes over here again and then the Kafka table names so the Kafka table name is basically the topic name that you want to query with Trino okay and then you will see a Kafka folder and there will be a, a, a JSON file demo dot fake social media dot JSON. This is this particular file simply holds the schema. So now you're just saying that, hey, you know, this is the schema uh, for that particular topic, right? So hopefully it made sense. So I'm going to close this. Okay. Once you have done that, now what we will need to do is basically we need to install all the dependency uh, again, like uh, faker because we're going to publish some fake messages. Okay. But meanwhile, what we need to do now is we can check if all the containers are running locally. So let's go to localhost. Go to localhost uh, 8080. This is where you will see your Trino. Okay. So now the username is going to be admin. Okay. Looks good, right? Now open up a new console and put localhost 8000 over here. And here you will see your red panda uh, console. If you go to topics, you will not see any topics because we're going to publish some data onto this particular topic. So now the containers are running. Everything is great. Now what we need to do is we need to install all the dependency. We'll use the command pip install dot, which means install everything in the current directory. Hit enter. And again, all the Python libraries uh, that are uh, required will be downloaded. Okay. And after that, we are going to simply publish some demo uh, messages into this. Okay. So now, I'm going to publish a demo message Kafka hyphen producer. I'm basically providing uh, the topic name and, and how many message I want to publish. So 20 records. I hit enter. The records have been inserted. If I come to my red panda console, that is localhost 8000, right? If you refresh here, you will see this particular topic and you will see those messages. Now let's learn how to query this using Trino, right? So for that, what I want to do, let me see if I have my terminal open. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, let me bring everything here on this, uh, this, this, this screen. Okay. So I have started a Jupyter notebook. Okay. And then uh, what I'll do, I'll show you here. So now I'm going to, you know, uh, do show catalogs. And here you can see, right, I can see my Kafka catalog over here. Uh, hopefully it's visible. Okay, here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yep. So here you can see that uh, Kafka catalog. Now we're going to use the Kafka catalog inside that we have a demo, right? So we're going to do that. Then we're going to do show tables. And here you can see I can see my particular topic. Now I can simply start querying uh, my Kafka data through Trino. So here I'm saying select count from that particular Kafka topic. And I, I see the number 20. I can also do select star uh, from the topic limit two. And here you can see I see all the data. All right, that's about it. It's literally that easy. So in this video, you have learned how you can basically query uh, your Kafka data via Trino. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.